Hey everybody, Bob here and welcome to another Making Stuff video. Today I'm going to be working on the water pan for the CNC plasma cutter. I've got a lot to do, so let's get started. All right, so this is where the project takes a U-turn. The idea was to have a piece of sheet metal cut that's the same dimensions as this frame and then go and weld the entire thing along this seam here of the frame. And I got to the welding shop and those guys said, nope, you don't want to do it that way. It's going to take a ton of hours and a ton of effort to get it on there and to also make it watertight. So they suggested that I go a different route, and that would be this. This is a pan made from the cheap metal that I was going to weld onto the frame. But what they did at the welding shop is they put it on a brake and they bent the edges up and they made one solid pan. And now the only thing that I have to worry about making watertight are these corners, these little four inch corners, and that's it. So I've welded the corners up. So now I'm going to fill it with water and see if it's watertight. All right, so I filled this full of water and there is too little itty bitty leaks and if you see when I run my finger across, you can see how it kind of spreads the water out. And I've taken this Sharpie line and I've drawn it and the hole is right there. And this is where I touched up. You could see a hole there before I filled it with water. And I went back and I touched it up with a MIG welder and I didn't quite get it. So what I'm gonna do is I'll grind this one down and uh, fill it back in. And then the one on the opposite corner, it's exactly like this. It, it doesn't leak enough to run down. But if you run your finger across, you can see how it kind of spreads the water out. So I'm going to go and fix these two and then I'll continue with the project. First, I need to drain the water out of it. And I think the best way to do that is just to use this old uh, submersible pump that I had laying around and I'll get most of the water out and then I can just dump the rest. All right, so I've got the pan in the machine and it fits perfectly. I have also moved the gantry and the X and Z axis around here and measured from the bottom of the Z axis to the pan and gone over this, a lot of the different areas of this pan and it is within one millimeter of being perfectly flat. So I'm happy with that. The one thing I do need to add to this is 
When I filled this up, I did some calculations. It holds about 200 pounds worth of water and there's no support in the middle. So what I'm going to do is run a support rail just across the, the Y, the length of the Y axis underneath, underneath the pan and that's going to help support the weight of all this water so hopefully this thing won't sag in the middle. Okay, and for some added protection here in the welded corners, I'm going to try some liquid <laughs> rubber in a can. Yes, this is what you see on TV. I've never used this stuff before, but I figured what the heck, I'll try it out and we'll just spray a little bit in each one of these corners. All right, so one thing I need to point out is on the water pan, when I went to the welding shop and they took the sheet metal and they bent the metal on the brake to make the pan, they had to add a little bit for the radius on the bottom of the pan and it's left a little bit of a lip here. So you can see that the pan is a little bit higher than the rest of the machine. Now this isn't a problem because the torch won't, won't come out this far. So the torch won't ever hit this, but to me it just doesn't look, doesn't have that clean look that I'm going for. So I'm going to try and figure out a way other than just taking, drawing a line down here and taking a cutoff wheel on the angle grinder and going all the way around this pan. Uh, if there's a better way, you guys know of a better way, uh, leave a comment uh, in the video. But uh, I really would like to clean this up somehow. So all the other videos for this project are in a playlist and the link for that is in the description. If you like the video, give me that big thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.